Hey, what is up? I got a game here called The Classrooms. This is off Steam and it's actually in early access. Uh, so this one had a, a update a few... two months ago, I think? So The Classrooms, it's liminal, backroom, stuff like that. Uh, so there was only one area, the classrooms area. And then they updated to the pools. So I'm gonna play with uh, the classroom first and then and the next video I'll go through the pools uh, and this one might actually have some horror elements in it for those that were complaining even if it does I'm still gonna label it as horror and you can't stop me let's go prologue experience the story and intro learn the basics let's go yes I think this is like procedurally generated whatever you call it so like no experience should be the same and also, the monster can hear the mic, so I gotta be quiet. I should have adjusted my mic first, god damn it. The following is classified footage designated ARC 2105, clearance level 7. Subject, Grace Chen, age 12, missing person, last seen June 27, 96. Xavier Chris Middle School. Oh! I live there! <laughs> uh, Robert Chen, age 18, missing person. You rarely see, uh, so I recognize that city, Winnipeg. You rarely see it mentioned in any media, but cool, good for them. <laughs> I gave it away before on Twitter, if you follow my Twitter. Uh, I, that's where I live, Winnipeg. Uh, okay. Is this where this location is based off of, or? I don't know. Left mouse button to unlock van. What am I supposed to do? Oh, the back? Here we go. I'll find you, Mei Mei. Codex. Alright. Mr. Deepens, uh, missing... <laughs> well, I, I didn't know this part about the game that it took place in Winnipeg. Uh, missing children. School closed early for summer. Students gone missing during school hours. That's all I have. I need to break the glass. Hope nobody hears this. Oh, right. Gotta brick this. Power's off. Gotta find the breaker room. Alright, so I'm assuming there's materials that I could just collect along the way, like more batteries and stuff like that. There it is. Uh, 
Alright, just making sure I can... Oh, battery. I see my mic on the top right. How loud can it go? What if I'm this loud? Hello? Okay, so it goes five bars max. I gotta keep it down. We're in it. Hold on, let me adjust my mic. This is good, right? Okay. All right, we're good. I just gotta keep it very quiet. You know what? Let's make it a bit harder for myself. Let's put it at. So it was at 50 originally. Let's put it at 35. There we go. Wait, where am I? There's no way out. Welcome to the ARC training program. Our goal is to equip you with the knowledge and skills necessary to safely navigate the anomalous dimension known as the Lambda Superstructure. As you may know, ARC is dedicated to exploring and mapping out the Lambda Superstructure. This dimension can be a challenging environment, and it's important to be aware of the signs that indicate the presence of entities. If you encounter flickering lights, be aware that this may indicate the presence of an entity. In these situations, it's important to remain calm and take precautions to ensure your safety. If you find yourself in a dark environment, be aware that this may also indicate the presence of an entity. It's important to always have a source of light with you and to remain focused and alert. If you encounter a friendly looking animal, it's important to be cautious. Stay safe and always be prepared. Arc, item 555, clearance level, f that's 4, right? Hazardous phenomena. Uh, Arc 555 is a humanoid anomaly standing at approximately 7 feet tall, distinguished by its unsettling head resembling an exaggerated deformed ear. It's just an ear? 
Uh, this entity exhibits a hostile disposition towards humans and exhibits a notable level of intelligence. Arc 555 is devoid of ocular organs and, lo and lacks the means to perceive light, forcing it to rely exclusively on its heightened auditory faculties. Yeah, if you're just a Nero, I'd assume you just have to listen. <laughs> Uh, Arc 555 exhibits an offensive strategy centered around, uh, centered around the deployment of traps, predominantly heat-seeking red balloons designated as Arc 555B. These balloons are strategically positioned by him in key areas such as corridors and choke points serving as a means to detect the presence of potential targets. Notably, Arc 555 has a display the ability to respond to auditory stimuli originating from distance of up to one kilometer. Uh, during testing scenarios, ac uh, Accurately tracking the source of detected sounds. Furthermore, Arc 555 has demonstrated the utilization of echolocation techniques to identify potential prey within its immediate vicinity. Arc, uh, so Triple Five was successful, successfully retrieved from a clandestine circus situated in Me, Russia, where it was employed as an anomalous spectacle during performances. The intention of the order was drawn to this entity during due to reports of unexplained disappearances and pe peculiar sightings within the vicinity. Following the retrieval, Operation uh, Triple Five exhibited aggressive behavior towards our personnel, employing its trap uh, deployment capabilities in a fervent bid to elude the containment protocols. Oh man, this is bringing back memories. School, computer room and everything. Playing uh, Medal of Honor in the computer room. It was great. I think I could see here. Hold on, guys. Okay, let's go. Oh, I got lean functions as well. Is that like a trap that it could set? Place it around the uh, area distraction. Seeds a key. Okay. <laughs> Creepy photos.
so this could be kind of heartwarming and at times, but right now it just seems like it's kind of traumatic and a warning. I was here already, right? All right. Guys, I swear there's horror in this game. It's gonna happen. Just wait. Be patient. Look at this. This is horror right now. Spooky. Told you. I should shut up. Oh god. What up? I don't know if that's my computer, but the frame rate is taking a hit. This should open the janitor's oh closet. God, where'd it go? They woke us up super early today. The alarms were blaring loud, but this time it was different. Instead of usual, our usual caretakers yanking us out of bed, there were these soldiers with big guns standing all quiet by the door. It was scary. The whole day felt like a dream. We scrambled to put on our clothes real quick, and they took us to the gymnasium. But deep down, I knew something was bad. I knew something bad was waiting for us there. A locker. This one's open. Alright, I'm gonna go to the janitor's closet first. Elevator key. I wonder what this is for. Oh god. Kid. Doll. Stop it. Freaking me out. Oh! Jesus! I didn't know what attacked you. Oh no. I gotta start over. That was a lot of blood. Cool. It's a nice way of doing it. it. Changes every time. I thought it like checkpointed me to where I was gonna go, but just generated a whole new area, sort of. Number four, clearance level three, malicious entity. Oh, the doll. Uh, number four is a malevolent anomaly predominantly located within the Elfin Lam uh, Lambda superstructure. As it has the appearance of a ceramic doll, exhibiting mobility exclusive in its absence of sentient observers, including when it is in an area devoid of visible light. Under the required condition, number four engages the aggressive pursuit, targeting and eliminating adult human indiv individuals. Uh, notably, the entity primarily focuses on incapacitating its victims by forcibly removing their eyes, aiming to disable their sense of sight. 
occasional instances have been reported wherein number four inexplicably vanishes from its observed location. The manner by which number four accomplishes this phenomenon remains unknown as any attempts to document this occurrence have resulted in failure of recording devices. Moreover, number four displays remarkable physical strength, effortlessly overpowering adult males in rare cases. Reports indicate that number four has been observed blank, leading to dangerous and potentially lethal situations. Retrieval and containment. Immediate reporting is imperative upon any visual detection of arc number four. If a direct encounter with the entity transpires, immediate evacuation of the area is mandatory. For retrieval and containment operations, a minimum of three operators is required, each equipped with high powerful fla high powered flashlights and headlamps. Of the three operatives, two must maintain uninterrupted visual contact with the entity while the remaining operative concentrates on containment procedures. All right, so yeah, this place changed up a bit. Now I have to go here. I got the elevator key. So I could do elevator stuff. We're gonna rave. Oh man. You know what? Let's not rave. Let's uh put on some hard style and we'll, we'll do that. Ah, uh, the exit. Oh. Okay. Thirty years from now, it won't matter what shoes you wore, how your hair looked, or the jeans you bought. What will matter is what you learned and how you escape. Oh god. Keep my eye on you. Uh, okay. Uh, where am I going? See the key. Right. I hate you. All right, know what? Uh, can you open doors? That's terrifying. I'm hearing whispers now. Oh, Jesus. Oh, God, what the hell is that? <laughs> How many entities are there? Two sixteen is an aggressive and malevolent entity predominantly found within the land of structure to manifest as a humanoid figure concealed beneath the cloak. Although it generally remains unseen, two sixteen becomes visible upon encountering human individuals, promptly initiating a relentless pursuit. Its primary objective is capable of a subsequent brutal murder of its chosen victim. It seems like all these items just murder. You don't have to it's implied. Uh, exclusively manifests itself in the presence of substantial electrical currents, notably within environments featuring fluorescent lights or through blank efforts to subdue or neutralize instances of 216 have proven futile, with the sole exception being the removal of all source illumination, causing 216 to vanish. Any sightings of 216 must be promptly reported. In the event of an encounter initiated by 216, it is recommended to deactivate all electrical devices, including blank and flashlights, and seek refuge in an area devoid of artificial light. Due to the inherent nature of the superstructure, locating a space with minimal electrical current might prove challenging, but it is the, of the utmost importance to pri prioritize finding such an environment. Okay, so if he's nearby, I gotta haul ass to the nearest place that doesn't have any electricity. And like I said, it's kind of sparse around here. Ooh, magic eight ball. 
Oh, what does that do? That shows your danger level. Oh, cafeteria. Nothing to eat, though. Jesus, who's the key? Oh God! All right, I'm about to run. I'm about to run. I'm about to run. Jeez! Oh, yo! <laughs> the entities are fighting. I don't mind dying to that because that was funny. <laughs> okay, one more. There we go. Put in the tape. Let's watch some uh, TV together. Welcome to the ARC training program. Our goal is to equip you with the knowledge and skills necessary to safely navigate the anomalous dimension known as the Lambda Superstructure. Didn't as we already do this? Know, ARC is dedicated. We wish you the best of luck in your journey. Stay safe and always be prepared. Wait, should I turn off the lights when he's around? That could be the way to go here. I just gotta f be near a light switch. This is hell, isn't it? We knew we'd be the next ones to be sent in. They handed us these documents telling us what we needed to bring back from this awful place, but we didn't even have a moment to read it. They rushed us in, leaving me stranded without food or water. All they gave me was a stupid flashlight and a compass, but there was one thing they made sure to tell us. If I want to make it out of here alive, I need to etch the codes into my memory. Elevator key. What are those other stuff around I need? Look fast, look fast, look quick. Alright, let's go. It's easy. Oh god. Ah. Uh. Go, 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 go. Oh, I thought he couldn't follow me around. Oh, wait.
or whatever floor, whatever. The library rooms. Oh. Stay away from the balloons. And there's that whatever... ...thing is around here somewhere, probably. Return four books. Alright, hold on. Don't make sound. When he's chasing me, I tiptoe around the corner and he can't hear me anymore. Alright. Number 11. 11 are large humanoid entities characterized by elongated limbs and gaunt, uh, gaunt physics suggestive of malnutrition. They possess an unnerving ability to contort their bodies in highly unnatural and seemingly impossible positions, provoking fear and distress in those who witness such displays. 11 exhibits a predatory inclination towards humans, specifically focusing on individuals who exhibit signs of vulnerability or, or helplessness. Notably, they are indicators, indications that Eleven possesses sentience, demonstrated through their remarkable environmental awareness and astute observation of personal behavior. Personnel behavior. As of blank, all attempts to establish communication with Arc Eleven have yielded no success. Additional research is necessary to explore the potential of avenues for interaction, if such communication is deemed feasible. Ongoing testing aims to uh, ascertain the full extent of Eleven's anomalous capabilities, as well as identify any. Uh, vulnerabilities that could be exploited for enhanced containment measurement measures it it as of blank no such weaknesses have been identified given the uncertain quantity of 11 entities direct containment efforts are strongly discouraged in the event of an encounter with 11 it is strongly advised that personnel prioritize evasive actions by swiftly moving to conceal themselves around corners and behind available cover. However, seeking refuge in darkness is ill-advised as Eleven has demonstrated exceptional visual acuity in low light conditions. Okay, so hide behind stuff, don't hide in the dark. Basically what I'm getting. Uh, but let's return this book. Just gonna see if there's any others around here. Oh god. I think I hear it. <laughs> oh, jeez. 
freaking big eared mother. Okay. Oh, jeez. Oh my god. Holy sh- Jesus. Whoa. Alright. It showed blood and gore in the options. I didn't think it would get that gory. That was cool, though. I knew it wasn't safe here, just like I said before, the documents they gave us explained that much, but everything else is so mysterious. Some papers have these weird instructions telling us stuff like to stay away from the dark rooms with vents and to hide in lockers if we hear strange sounds. Then there are other papers that are all scribbled out with black ink. I can't make sense of it all. But at least now I understand why they gave me a compass. It's not like a regular compass that points north. It's supposed to help us get back to the school, or at least I hope it does. The papers also mention that there are multiple checkpoints set up around the area that they built before the incident happened. Got another thing here. Arc Site 35. Disregard the opinions of senior researchers. I firmly believe we must acquire additional subjects and enhance our security measures. The casualties are mounting with each exploration, entering a staggering 17 lives lost recently, and our numbers are dwindling. Despite this setback, it is crucial to acknowledge the success of our tests. Over the past quarter, we have unveiled a remarkable 47 new locations within the space, uncovering a substantial cache of anomalous items. Nevertheless, the more we unravel the mystery, the mystery, mysteries of the structure, the more enigmatic uh, and bewildering it becomes. Alarming reports indicate an escalation in entity encounters near our research outposts. The frequency of these occurrences raises concerns of imminent assault. We must accept the inevitability of such an attack and ready ourselves accordingly. However, we cannot devise an effective measure countermeasures without continued observation and exploration of the structure. It is through these means that we shall gain insights and develop strategies to combat the looming threat.
Okay, I was not talking. I wasn't risking it. Oh man, that one took a while. I died a lot. Where are we now? Oh, the bathrooms. The best place to be in. Oh god, toilet water. You definitely know this is not clean. under your skin. Tear it out, tear it out, tear it out. Okay. I guess I need to find a way to set this up. Maybe there's a way to raise the water level. Okay, I got it. Thank you. Something's walking around here. Ha. I just gotta find a way past you now. I'm just gonna check what was the thing on them. Uh, 216, 211. Uh, Behind Okay, just basically run and hide for these ones.
So, from the paper, there might be more than one I have to watch out for. Oh, here we go. I trapped myself. Oh god. I hope it checkpoints me though after the... raising the water. Oh no. Oh, paper. This place, they told me it would be like what we saw in our dreams, but it isn't. Uh, everything here seems empty and abandoned. I thought there would be people here. This place feels like uh, the past, like a place time forgot. I keep hearing voices from the rooms off the path. They sound de uh, deceptively friendly, but when I go look, nobody is there. At this point, I can't go back. I don't even know which way back is. I just want to go back to the way things were before. Yeah, I got away from that. Let's go. All right, we got it. Ooh. Oh, the dark rooms this time. It's very dark. Oh, there's a slide.
the security compromise. Senior researcher James Harris. Alarming developments are underway with the within the ever-changing superstructure, and I hold grave concerns that these transformers transformations harbor a malevolent intent. Typically, such occurrences would not elicit significant appreh significant apprehension. However, these latest transformations have occurred within close proximity to our outposts, often strategically positioned beyond the reach of our surveillance cameras. Given the gra gravity of these circumstances, it is imperative that we remain vigilant and fortify our defenses accordingly. Heightened scrutiny of internal operations coupled with comprehensive measures to safeguard critical areas must be implemented promptly. We must prepare ourselves for an imminent uh, threat emanating from within the superstructure, leveraging every va available resource to thwart any nefarious agenda that may be unfolding. Holy shit. If I step in there, I'll get fried. I need to cut the power off somehow. Something's here. Hold on, what other entities were there? 55, I dealt with him, dealt with him, dealt with him. Those are the only ones I dealt with. Oh god, the baby. You're back. Let me let you in a bit. Okay. Oh god. Might as well die. <laughs> I'd rather die that way. All right, item six oh eight. Entity six oh eight is a non-corporeal entity that manifests in locations devoid of light within any location of the superstructure currently discovered. Uh, when viewed, six oh eight appears as a dimly lit, gaunt face emerging from the darkness. Six oh eight is non-corporeal and. It is not affected by the solid objects or walls in the area devoid of light. However, for unknown reasons, it could still interact with physical objects and inflict wounds onto people. Entities will appear in any areas devoid of light. 608 will vanquish if trapped in an area is subsequently lit up, but over time will disable all said lights and remanifest. If a sighting of entity 608 occurs, avoid any contact with the entity. If spotted by the entity, make sure you stay around lit areas to avoid any air to avoid any areas dim or devoid of light, as Entity 608 has been known to pursue prey relentlessly until there is no dwelling area devoid of light within a certain kilometer. Okay. Oh, jeez. Where is it? He's right there. Be aware that this may indicate the presence. 
presence of an entity. In these situations, it's important to remain calm. Alright, I got a note before I died. What was it? 708 manifest as a highly aggressive and malevolent organism predominantly preserved within the confines of Lima structure. Its physical form is notable is notable serpent-like uh, with a significant deviation be, uh, being its head with which disturbingly resembles a human face. The entity's, the entity's behavior patterns are marked by hostility and a predilection for ambushing living prey. Uh, despite exhibiting non-sentient characteristics, Entity 708 possesses the ability to mimic human vocalization as a method to attract its prey. These attempts at uh, mimicry, off, however, are crudely executed, resulting in distorted and un un unconvincing imitations of human speech. The Entity is endowed with uh, exceptional visual acuity, enabling it to detect and track, and track moving targets with remarkable precision. A peculiar aspect of its sensory perception is its inability to recognize static objects of in or individuals as potential prey, thereby ignoring anything that does not move. When a target is apprehended, Entity 708 employs constriction as its primary method of subdual, subsequently ingesting an immobilized victim whole. Upon visual confirmation, Entity 708 immediate stillness is advised. The entity's uh, motion-based perception system can be perceived by a lack of movement. If escape is necessary, seek areas with obstructed sight lines and remain immobile. Due to the entity's uh, considerable speed, outrunning it is impractical. Containment strategies detailed in document 7083 are pred predicated on its reliance on movement detection dictation procedures for safe engagement and confinement. Okay, before I died there, I did get a, a screwdriver. So I've seen vents around, and I'm assuming it's for that. A better way to sneak around. Got another piece of paper. Uh, are you kidding me? When I asked for a level 3 clearance of this document, you could have just said no, this is useless to us. Malicious Entity 686 appears docile, however human contact, shift in mood and appearance as the entity will change shape, the entity will become hostile, human attempt to uh, deceive potential prey, physical appearance, resist to high bullet calibers, physical contact, okay, it's, yeah this is useless. Here we go. This will cut the power. But that means all the lights are going to be off. Crap. All right. Got any light sticks?
Let's go take the slide. Go, go, go. Oh, God, what the hell? Okay, go. Oh, man. Wow. Okay, we are here. Pull rooms. Hold on, guys. Okay, we're just riding the pool rooms. It's very bright. Don't think I need my flashlight. See how different this is from the pools that we played in the previous video. That's Sydney's? It's a lot of noise. Oh, the duckies! They're back! Is that a seal? What just happened? How do I get to the balconies? Go up. Don't open your eyes underwater. I don't think I'm supposed to do that. Or that. Failed to generate map. Retry. What's going on? Weird, okay. All right, don't go in there. What's with the 80 synth? Kinda like it. Friend, okay, so that little, whatever it was, gray thing. I'm assuming it was a seal. Might be friendly. Might have her back. We'll find out. The chlorine burns. Oh, look where we're at. slide. Hold on. I want to check what's over here. Oh, Looney? 
If you don't know what a loonie is, it's a dollar. This is definitely a Canadian developed game. Especially with the Winnipeg as, I guess, the location. What are these for? <laughs> a Canadian doll, there you go. I gotta find a I gotta find out the developer of this game. I didn't I didn't check earlier. Found, found lost track of time. I don't know what year it is. I'm completely lost. I've completely lost track of time. It could have been a month or maybe even a whole year. It doesn't matter. I stumbled upon one of those folders that were all secretive about the one labeled item 608. They told us those documents were classified and strictly off limits, but screw that, you know? We're all just pawns in their messed up game. I'm glad I read them. I'm, I'm glad I read them though. Because item 608 is the reason they warned us to steer clear of the freaking darkness. It's like something out of a freaky nightmare, man. This thing crawls to the vents, and if uh, the lights go out, it'll tear you apart. But when the lights flicker back on, poof, it's gone. Or maybe it changes shape. I can't tell, man. The document's all vague and cryptic. Thank goodness I haven't come face to face with one of those monst uh, monstrosities yet. Here's hoping it stays that way, you know? I don't have 608 here. Oh, wait, I do. This thing. Jacob. We got Jacob before. There's Rosemary. There's Jacob. So I may not get all the uh, the notes, so I'll try though. Insert level one key card. Okay. Hello, friend. Uh, corporeal... One urology test log? Okay, in light of the significant breakthroughs following the discovery of uh, the, uh, the Cumarin 
Cumin Caves. We have implemented substantial modifications to the experimental procedures as detailed below. A total of 60 subjects, ranging from 7 to 13, were selected. All subjects adhere to uh, polythetic religious beliefs. I don't think I said that right. Uh, possess a non-Western cultural background and exhibited limited knowledge of any Abrahamic uh, religions. The subjects were fasted for 80, 48 hours and intentionally placed in close proximity to one another to maximize the effectiveness of the test. To, f to fulfill the necessary requirements, cameras, microphones, and EEG e e qu equipment were installed with the testing facility. Uh, the team successfully captured and interpreted the recorded data. Subsequent interaction with the subjects immediately following the conclusion of the test confirmed the manifestation's consistency. Notable, notably, each subject independently described a specific location, a fenced and school playground situated with a vast brick structure. The playground featured an expansive crimson play structure that seemingly extended for miles. To ensure the integrity of the results, each subject underwent individual debriefing sessions, which revealed no sign of foul play. The facility's gateway system successfully identified the precise location of this manifestation. Once the confirmation process is completed, we will proceed with physical explorations of the, manifest, uh, the manifested site. So, you're giving me loonies. What are these going to be used for? Is there a vending machine nearby? Ah, another slide. Security compromise. You're off your rocker, Jimmy. It is simply unfounded to suggest that entities possess possesses uh, the capability to breach the confines of the superstructure. Such notions run counter to the established pact, a foundational principle of our organization. Let's not regress to the early days of initiation folklore. It is essential to maintain a rational perspective. I implore you to redirect your energies away from the undue concerns regarding potential risks. Instead, focus on matters that warrant our attention and resources. It has become apparent that our persistent requests for increased security funding for your facility are becoming excessive. Each time we acquiesce, I can't say that, to your demands, you return with even more extravagant financial proposals. I cannot help but question the motives behind such relentless pursuits. It almost appears as if you are manipulating our valuable resources for personal gain. Trust me, it would be in your best interest to curb these incessant appeals, for we are all aware of the consequences that befall those who betray our cause. Let us maintain a cooperative and mutually beneficial relationship grounded in trust and transparency. Oh, wait. Oh, whoop. Boom. Another slide. That's green. I want to check around all every location first before I make a decision on where to slide. What the hell? This place is weird. Alright, so we looked at all available locations. Um, I 
I'm gonna go somewhere. All right, I'm gonna go take this yellow slide here. Let's go. Whoa. Hello. He's part of the the crew, the facility. Okay. So we got our key card. All right. Cool. 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 Grants access to anything requiring level one clearance. Okay, I could delete stuff. All right. Cool. I hear the whispers. Oh, dead end. Which way had the slide? This one didn't. In. Oh god, okay, never mind the other slides. Let's get out of here. Alright, you got anything for me? Oh, broken goggles. What does that do? Not much.
Oh, okay, where am I? Was this the yellow slide? Yes, it was. There's one more slide I gotta try. Jesus Christ. Hi. I did my best. Ugh. Does it save my progress? Please? Okay, I got the keycard and the mask. Okay, we're good. Just gotta find out where everything is now again. That intro is just so soothing. It just feels good to listen to. Okay, green slide. I don't think I've gone down green slide yet. Mysterious recipe. Goggle. Eye. What? I got, I got the goggles. Plus eye, plus something else <clears throat> all right got another thing here 589 ah the microwave oh yes I could put the microwave in there Item 59 exhibits the outward appearance of nice uh, microwave. It is distinguished by its primarily wooden exterior and stainless steel front panel. The front panel is outfitted with uh, two multifunctional dials, each presenting three unique settings. The first dial includes icons of coiled serpent, an open eye, and a biohazard symbol. Oh, okay, so I need to put the... Uh, what was it? The uh, broken mask in there. And then choose the settings accordingly. Uh, the second dial features the icon of a crescent moon, an hourglass, and sun to sun. The symbol suggests deeper complexity as they are intended for concurrent use to manipulate object functions. Uh, no, 
The core anomaly of 5e9 lies in the ability to transmute any object placed within it. The nature of the extent of these transformations are influenced by the combination of settings chosen on dials, outcomes, and range. Okay, yeah. Basically, this is our key here. Uh, to make the mask, I guess, not broken. And I'm going to save you from me reading the rest. <laughs> it's been a rough go reading this playthrough. I think I need the yellow slide. And then we open this. Put that in there. And what was it? Eye and Crescent Moon. Close that. I, Crescent Moon, go! Oh! What is this? Waterproof camcorder. Okay, so my camcorder doesn't break. Awesome! Flashlight kind of breaks it though. But even if I die, I could just go back right to the beginning, but I'm gonna try and make it without dying. I've died a lot this playthrough. <gasps> oh god. I tried guys. I tried. <laughs> Okay, I press the button. I'm here. Spiral staircase. Cool looking hangout area with a microwave. I just gotta find out. I just gotta get my way back now. Okay, I think we got it. Let's go. Whoop, 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 whoop. And through the gates. Into the elevator. And there we go. New levels coming soon. Thanks for playing. Be sure to try to custom mode for an even bigger challenge. New levels and new entities are coming soon. Stay tuned. Okay. Is this a sneak peek of a new level? Looks like a playground structure area. Alright. Classrooms, library rooms. 
medical rooms coming soon. Cool. Okay. All right. I hope you guys enjoyed that. That was the uh, the classrooms early access. We went through a few levels and we got the updated pool rooms. And then uh, the next one's gonna come out. I'm not sure when, but I'll definitely check that out. So way more horror and jump scary than the previous game I played pools. So you're welcome if you had any complaints. So I died a lot in this. Um, it's gonna be a lot of heavy editing here. Uh, but yeah, I had fun with this. Uh, all the monsters look cool and creepy. Um, I like the uh, like the procedural generation, so no one playthrough is the same. Uh, there was one there was one thing I was hoping though, but I guess it was uh, removed from the game in the update. I saw like a TikTok of this game once, and that worm monster was in the classroom area, uh, the hallways, and smashed against the locker and came chasing after you. I guess they updated it so it's just in the pool rooms now. So I was kind of hoping for that to happen, uh, but still, had had fun playing with this. Uh, the one I had difficulty with the most is the uh, library. I died a lot there. Uh, but yeah, this is fun. It uh, it takes place in my general area in Canada. And same with the developer. So this so that's just cool to me, just playing this alone. And, uh, and the developer is from my neck of the woods. Don't really have much more to say. Uh, uh, again, when next level comes out, I'll take a look. Uh, if you guys enjoyed, please leave a like and subscribe. Be cool, stay safe, have a good day, and see you in the next video.